Purdue could be one step closer to getting the funding needed for the Purdue Moves initiative. News 18 Samantha Tiki reports on how the meeting allowed Purdue's president Mitch Daniels to explain why the board should approve the university's budget. There is no greater asset that any state could have than a high technology research based first tier institution like Purdue. Purdue President Mitch Daniels got the chance to state his case on Purdue University's state budget during the Indiana Commission for Higher Education's regular board meeting Thursday. Purdue University hosted the meeting that gave university representatives a chance to present their budgets to the board. The commission's job is to review the budgets before they go to Indiana Governor Mike Pence for approval. For each um, college president uh, makes his or her case and um, the, the folks that ultimately make the decision about what gets included in the budget that's passed uh, make a decision about where they think um, those dollars be most effective. Purdue President Mitch Daniels stated his reasons, saying the money would be used to fund projects for the Purdue Moves Initiative, expanding the College of Technology and Computer Science, as well as transforming the College of Technology would all be accomplished with the use of state funding. Daniels also says some of the funding would be used for summer financial aid in programs to increase summer enrollment. It won't be like for the rest of the school year in terms of lots of activities going on, but we can do a few that make it more attractive to be here. But the board questioned Daniels on the declining number of in-state students attending Purdue. Daniels says 93 percent of Indiana residents who applied were accepted to a Purdue campus, but says over the past few years students have found it too difficult to transfer to Purdue from another university. If we simply had the same number of transfers we had three years ago, we'd be 600 or so bigger today and most of them would be Hoosiers. But Daniel says he believes if the Purdue Moves initiative receives the funding needed, it would boost enrollment and eventually the economy as well. Our uh, areas of emphasis, we believe, matches up ideally with the needs of society and particularly the Indiana economy. No word on how much the university is asking the state to approve. The last fiscal year, the budget was just under $245 million. The Indiana Commission for Higher Education will present its decision on the budgets at a November 13th meeting. Those budgets will then be submitted to Governor Pence. Samantha Tiki, News 18.